We are, I don't know that that recorded, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so we are going to introduce Sandy. Well, we've introduced Sandy. Okay. I'll let Sandy do her, do her thing. Okay. So I guess at the last meeting, there was a smaller amount of people present. And um, I'm very surprised and delighted to see 25 or 30 people here in um, our hostess's uh, living room, Miss Mindy, in uh, a lovely part of Houston. And it's not raining and it's not too hot and there's not a hurricane going on or anything. So it's a great time to come back. I originally moved to Houston in like the 1950s or 60s. And the property that we bought, which was off of Campbell Road, and Hamley was considered outside the city limits at the time. <laughs> so I've lived here since um, a long time. And now I've escaped from Houston and escaped from Texas. And I live in a very remote uh, part of Northern Arizona up in the White Mountains. We're 20 degrees cooler than Phoenix at all times. So we have the four seasons, we have snow. I have a little ranch. They go little and I go, if you're from Texas, 40 acres is pretty little for a ranch but I have my own well and there's no pollution in the air and I have uh, fresh water and amazing stars at 6,000 feet. You can imagine how the stars are. And um, it's in between four Indian reservations. So it's all old sacred land and I'm very grateful to be there. So I'm glad to come back and visit, but I'm also glad to go back. And home. you have an Airbnb. So if you want to come yeah, visit. Two Airbnbs. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I can look up Airbnb and uh, come and visit. So, so it's, um, I'm real grateful. There's some real cool people around there. And, uh, so anyway, what I'm going to talk about, I don't even know what I called it, but I'm going to talk about this evening is something that I've seen happening lately in that um, people will call me. I'm not saying all, all y'all need to call me, but if you've tried everything else and you can't get it resolved, then you're welcome to call me. But please try and handle your own stuff first because um, the phone can only ring so many times a day and then it falls off. Um, but a lot of people have been calling and saying, I feel, I mean, some of y'all could testify to that, even Mary. I feel bad. I feel like I'm going crazy. I've got a headache. Something's going on. I don't, I don't you know, all kind of, they're depressed or they might be feeling out of sorts or they might feel no motivation or they might feel what else? Like you're just losing it or something like that. And they'll go, what's going on? What's as if I have a hotline to God, you know, I've got one of the little or zero energy, right? Or you zero, might be totally yeah. drained, drained, um, can't yeah. sleep or depressed or something. Have, have y'all had some of that going on at yes. all? Yeah. yeah, I know. I've, I've even had it. So what happens is that um, I'll try and figure out what it is that's going on. And then I inevitably end up clearing that person, what I just call clearing them. And, um, and what I've noticed these last year, two or three years, but especially this last year, is the amount of uh, interfering energies or dark forces or googlies or creepy crawlies or cling alongs or people call them all different kinds of things <laughs> on people has increased exponentially dramatically. When somebody would call or I'd work with somebody and it would douse out that they have, y'all know what I'm Speaking of, if I say that they have a, an entity, a discarded entity, is everybody, anybody not know what that is? Stick your little hand up if you don't know. An entity. We're entities. We're incarnate. We have a physical body and we're in three-dimensional form or partly here anyway. And if someone is a disincarnate entity, that means they're dead. They, it, you might think of it as a ghost. It's a dead spirit. It's someone that was alive on the earth plane but they're not alive anymore. So their body is buried or cremated or washed in the rivers or something, but their body's not here anymore, but they're still alive in spirit. And a lot of times they don't know that they're dead. They're confused, they're lost, they're jealous, they're um, angry. It could be, I mean, it could have been a little kid that was in the back of a, of a SUV and it got hit by a 14 wheeler, you know, 18 wheeler, and they didn't know they're dead, or they might've been in a coma in a hospital and they've died and they don't know they're dead. That sounds strange that somebody wouldn't know that they're dead, but it's quite common actually. And some people that are here like Barbara and Monique, professionally clear people as well. And I'm sure you run into this all the time. Is that right? Yes. So, um, so a lot of times people will have entities. I mean, this is a 
basic, basic question. I'm so glad you're asking it. So thank you for, um, thank you for that. They'll have entities in what they call, we call their field. You know what I'm talking about? If I say their field, their subtle body, their aura. And usually what happens is it's a matching of the vibration. Everything is frequency. So the frequencies match. So that if you're really, really depressed, you might have an entity in your field that's also really depressed. If you're angry or greedy or um, any number of other, usually lower emotions, not love and peace and joy and celebration, but the lower emotions, then there could be a number of circumstances where you will attract just by mag magnetic energy matching law of attraction, that same kind of frequency from a dead spirit. Does that make sense? So um, it could be, like I said, it's usually lower emotions. And there's a lot of things that can make people vulnerable for that. If you've done a lot of drugs, and I'm not just talking street drugs, I'm talking antibiotics and any kind of regular drugs. If, for people that can see clairvoyantly, and I presume a lot of you people in your can, because it's a pretty turned on crowd. People that can see clairvoyantly, their field will look like it's Swiss cheese. There'll be big holes in the energy field or dark blobs and things like that. And that's how other spirits can come in because they're matching the frequency of whatever that, let's say depression or fear or some shame or something like that. And then that person, or that spirit just sort of resides there. They're just hanging out because that frequency matches. The way I explain it, it's like if you have a magnet, it's going to stick to the refrigerators. Like it'll stick to a piece of metal, but it's not going to stick to a piece of paper because it doesn't have that frequency that matches. Does that make sense? So if you're vibrating at a lower frequency, let's say anger or fear, then you'll be open to attracting something that's also vibrating at that frequency. And so um, kind of a long answer to early question, but often now people will have other things, other beings, other energies in their energy field. Now I teach a whole big intensive two or three day class on nothing but psychic protection. So I don't want people to think that I'm telling you all this stuff. This is just a couple little things that I've noticed the last few years and with people calling me a lot. So I will check to see if they have any entities in their field and I'll use a dowsing tool, a dowsing instrument, usually a pendulum. And I can check, do they have any lost? I usually say lost, confused or negative inter, uh, discarnates in their field. Because if it's your aunt Matilda that's waiting, you know, waiting around because she wants to see you marry the right young man or you know, you've got a relative that's fixing to pass on and the angels or some other relatives are there to, it's it's something different it's not your guardian angel it's not any of your guides it's law i say lost confused or negative energies or entities affecting that person at that time so that's one of the categories and i'll talk to you about how i clear them in a minute i'm just going to cover the categories if that's okay so it's ranged from you know <clears throat> five or ten years ago when i would check if there was any entities in the field i get maybe three or four you know, I'm now getting sometimes more than 300 discarnates in people's field. What about you, Barbara? I just got 340 in one woman's kitchen. In one woman's kitchen. Okay. So it's very unusual. If somebody is really positive, they're keeping their vibrations high, they're raising their frequencies, they're doing good work in the good world, they may have only like 20 or 30. But usually now, and I don't even bother to count one, two, three, I count by 20. 20, 40, 60, 81. Is there anybody in here that just for purposes of demonstration has been feeling a little creepy or cranky the last few days? Well, Mary, okay. All right, we've got a willing subject here. So I did. <laughs> so I'll, I will check to see if she's got any discarnates in your field. Discarnate, disincarnate entities. In other words, dead spirits. In other words, ghosts hanging out. So I will check, does Mary have any uh, lost confusion, negative energies or en entities affecting her at this time or her field? And my pendulum says, yes. Now let me see how many there are. I'll wait before I clear. Well, maybe I'll clear. Okay. <laughs> Just so she feels good the rest of the meeting. 20, 40, 60, 80. So it's between 60 and 80. 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. 75, 76, 77. 
77 discarnates in this lady's energy field. Now that would have just unbelievably shocked me, but it's less than 300, which is what I've been, yeah. run, which I have been running into. And that's why I want to talk to y'all about this because yeah. there's such an increase in dark forces and dark energies and lower frequencies on this planet. It's amazing that we're even walking around. Really, I'm not kidding you. There is so much, the way I think of it, it's like, say you have a, an empty mayonnaise jar and you go outside and there's a mud puddle and you pick, you, you dunk some water out of that. We leave that sit for two or three days and all that sediment is gonna go down to the bottom of the jar. So it'll be mud, thick mud. Well, now instead of just having like kind of a foggy day, it's like we're white wading yeah. through this mud and swamp water and it's really hard and it's hard on people like yourself, enlightened people and conscious people and people that are trying to make a difference in the world. We are just sledging through this stuff like nobody's business. So I'm gonna clear her real quick, just silently. And, and if you can see her energy field, you'll be able to see if there's any difference. You'll get so you'll be able to do this so quickly that um, you can be sitting there painting your toenails at the same time. It's like no big deal once you get done going with it. Okay, how does that feel? Can you tell her? Yeah, I, I was with someone last night whose husband died. Yeah, um, yeah, and he might still be hanging around. It could be. Yeah, Your had been what? Her husband. I, I was with oh, um, a friend last night whose husband had just died, and um, yeah, they're all kind of in the shock. And, and you can pick them. You don't even have to go the places. You can pick them up. You can pick them up in hospitals. You can pick them up in jails. You can pick them up at COVID dispensation places. You could pick them up in um, uh, places where there's lawyers and fighting <laughs> and all that rigmarole, police stations, any of those kind of schools, places where gangs hang out, where ill people are. People go, people go to the hospital and they die a lot of times, you know? So there's, like I said, a lot of people don't even know they're dead. So there's lots of places. And now you can just go to a shopping center and pick up discarnates. I mean, they're just real available everywhere. <laughs> no extra charge, huh? Okay. So I'll talk to y'all about how to clear them in a little bit. So I'm going to check Mary for something else. Okay. I'm going to check her for some, what I call ET interference, which if you're not into that, you better wake up and get into it real quick. Cause it's a big factor. Okay. Any ET interference of any kind. And that includes not only um, connecting with ships um, or being abducted or having any implants in her active or dormant. None. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, now I'm gonna check for another category and I'll go over that category in a minute for um, what we call demons. Now demons are different. I used to think all this stuff was made up, but it's not, <laughs> believe me. No, it's demons not. are not entities. They have not been a human being that walked around on the earth and died. This is another category of beings. They have a level of consciousness, but they're not dead spirits. And they're a little usually ornerier and often a little bit harder to deal with. I used to really have to go through quite, I'm trained to do classic exorcism, but I call it something different. But um, that's also something that there's a huge increase in, in interfering energies would be any demons. Are there any demons affecting Mary's field at this time? Okay, how many, 20, 20, 22, 22, far less. This, used to be almost, uh, I would very rarely ever run into one of those things. And now they're so common. Yeah, easy easy to have more than a hundred. Okay, now she's clear. That's how quickly you can do it. Okay, now I'm also checking for psychic cords. Do you know what those are? Cords come into people. They could be somebody's wishing something about somebody or they're trying to, it's a little different than thought form, but like that will code in, cord into their heart. Or you could be mostly ladies here. Let's say you're walking down the street past a construction zone and there's a bunch of construction jokers looking and they're getting some ideas and you have to be real cute and have a cute little booty or something. Well, you might get a cord in your um, private areas. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or somebody's trying to get you to do something like that. Those are what we call psychic cords. They could be as thin as a, as a hair thin as a human hair. They could be as thick as those big old ropes that they use to tie up ships. They're psychic cords. And what I used to do would have people float up out of their body 
and imagine they could look down on their energy field and see if there were any cords there and then then cut them and now i can get rid of them even faster so let me check if mary's got any cords yes she's only got three cords in she must have cleared herself earlier today or something okay so i'm going to cut those cords and as you get used to doing these kind of things you're going to find that you get some kind of a body response my my body takes a deep breath when it's cleared that thing or done something some people get i know it sounds funny but some people burp they just get this burp and that that means have you read into that with people i don't know it seems to be very common but there's these burpers some people get creas you know get creas are you burper you're a crea your person yeah louise hey i mean not louise hey louise houston just she'll jerk and go i mean you think she's having a seizure and that's her way that's her way of her body telling her whatever it is is cleared is cleared some people do deep breath some people um they have different body reactions but you'll notice what yours is um so let me cut mary's cords okay that's done now another category that i i use is what i call negative or unbeneficial thought forms and thought forms are a little bit different than cords and they can be there's a, two schools of thought on this one of them is that you can get rid of them which is what i'm currently doing these days but another is that you can never get rid of thought forms but you can change the energy of them and instead of being negative or unbeneficial like it could be somebody that's trying to put a thought in your mind or they're trying to interfere with your field in some way it's not a cord but it's a thought form and they actually take on like a life or an energy of their own it can become very very real and um so there's there's a the way of doing it where you just change the energy you like get rid of the negative energy and put a positive thing so the thought form <coughs> remains but now it's a positive thought form instead of a negative thought form and i don't know which way is correct i've done it both ways but whatever you down to see what works for you another category that i'm uh I'll, I'll clear people's houses as well but another new category that um i've been working with um uh, and i talked about this to your dowser group a couple years ago are what i call vibrations and frequencies now i don't know what i'm talking about but it's something that's shown up a lot and i'm finding when i work with it it will clear and it makes a difference for people and uh, Mindy's making you a handout. Ooh, I don't think I gave her that one. I'll get it. I'll, I'll, um, if you, Carol, if you would look, she's making you another handout. But if you look in these papers over here and find the thing that says vibration and frequency, and Mindy can make some copies that I'll give, it, give that to y'all. Over in this blue box here, I'm sorry, y'all, for the watching. There's a thing with a bunch of handouts that are in a plastic bag. Take that in there and look for the one that says vibration frequency. So I've been looking for, I will check somebody for that. So let me ask if Mary has any negative uh, vibrations, frequencies. Now these, this is, I haven't read this in any book. I've talked a little bit like to Raymond Grace and a couple of people, but nobody, I've just made this up in my mind. But if it's workable and it's useful for you, please take it. I'm here to share it. It's a frequency. How many frequencies, negative or unbeneficial frequencies, has she got? One, two. Now, I'm finding that these usually come from another dimension. So I don't know if it's coming from um, some kind of broadcast or radionics equipment. I know and believe that uh, Saratoga Ocean calls them the controllers or the other people that are running things, however you want, since it's being broadcast. <laughs> which I was surprised about. Uh, some of the news behind the news, the people behind the screen, okay, if y'all get my drift, um, have access to information and, and devices and modalities and scalar waves and radionics and things. We don't even know, we can't even conceive of some of these things that they have the technology to do, okay? Would you agree? Absolutely. We don't even have the words to describe with it. some kind of energies, but I know that everything can be a vibration of frequency. So I'll just call this handout. I'm going to give y'all on vibration and frequencies. 
I'm usually finding that they'll come from another dimension. So let me check. You had two? Is that what it's in two? And so, also I've heard of negative high frequency beings. Okay, yes. And even, now another friend of mine in Florida has identified what she calls off-planet parasites. I don't know enough about that, but you could take that, take that and check that out. And I'm not sure how to get rid of it. <clears throat> okay, so if I were to check Mary's frequency, what, I mean, where is this coming from? Third, fourth, fifth, sixth dimension. And I'll get rid of that in a minute. And the other one's coming from third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth dimension, eighth dimension. So she got two frequencies that are negative or unbeneficial that are affecting her body. I'm, I'm going to clear those in a couple minutes. Okay. Remind me. And then one of the last... Um, uh, another category is what I call, well, there's another category that y'all might probably know about called elementals. Do y'all know what elementals are? Yeah. Elementals are like little elves and fairies and salamanders and little things like that. They're, they're not really bad. They're just at a different dimension and they just need to go outside and make the flowers grow. You know, these are the things that lose your car keys. They'll steal them and then they'll sit there and laugh and laugh and laugh. When you're running around, you're going to be late for a meeting. You can't find your car keys. Well, that's a lot of times elementals do that. They get in the house and they just, they, it's like they don't have little imps with no conscience kind of a thing. And I, Puka, I think so. It's like, is that the Hawaiian thing? I'm not sure. It, it might be. I've heard that term. And I think that's what it is. Yes, yes, yes. And they, and so I just, identified does she have any elementals no i just have them go on to i i release them to their prop what i say is i release them to their proper plane level or dimension go outside and grow some flowers or whatever you need to do chase the butterflies or something like that. so elementals is something another category is um, what i call psychic debris again that seems to be a catch-all Maybe there was an argument earlier in that room or a restaurant or a hotel room or something. And there's all this yucky stuff flying around in there, just yucky, creepy energy. And you can just clear that by clearing the psychic debris. Okay. And then the last category, and there's more categories of things. These are ones that I just check for. And if somebody call me up and say, I'm feeling crappy. What's going wrong with me? I'll check for every one of these kinds of things. But I'm just the purpose of this meeting is to tell you that there has been a huge and vast increase in this in, in exponentially so like from two or three to 300 really it's just like oh my and the people will usually feel remarkably different is that right when it's cleared i'm i'm feeling better already <laughs> yeah yeah and usually i'll clear the room before or the meeting, but I didn't do that purposely because we, we might get a chance to work on some of y'all others and you can work on each other. Okay, the last category, which I've just invented, another invention, is what I'm calling, <clears throat> do y'all know that they're trying to push us into an AI artificial reality? Did anybody not know that? Oh, thank God we're amongst good people here. Okay. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get us into what they call the metaverse, the matrix thing, where it's all artificial intelligence, except it has no soul and it has no heart, no heart energy. And it's it's going to be the bane or the whatever no. they call that of man, mankind if we no. don't stay centered in our heart and love and connected to the earth and everything and follow the natural evolutionary thing. Yep, that's it. Thank you. If you'll make copies of that for people. Yeah, great. Yeah. Okay. Give everybody one of those. So that's a handout I made for y'all for that. Um, so this new category that I've come up with, for lack of a better term, is ET generated AI programs. That's what I'm calling it. ET generated AI programs. And that can cover a vast array of stuff because they have the skill, they have the resources, they have the devices, they have the capability. You know, when they did the, um, um, the Gulf War, that they did that, what they called something of God, the voice of God. Isn't that what they called it, the voice of God? And they put the thought forms in a lot of the Islamic soldiers that Allah was telling them to lay down their weapons, and they did, and then we ran over them on tanks. You remember that? 
Okay, well, that's some of that kind of stuff. I don't know how they do it. They can put thoughts in our mind and they can read our mind. You, if you didn't see the movie, The Minority Report, go watch that movie. Um, so all of that is within their skills, capability, and their willingness. Because a lot of these beings are not even full human beings. Some of them are partial AIs, partial robots, hybrid type creatures, and all the rest of this stuff. You have to have your mind open here at this meeting. I'm telling you, but I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. And um, so there are programs that are being generated that are being broadcast. They may broadcast to certain geographic areas like Houston, or they may broadcast to certain ethnic groups. They may broadcast to certain genders. Jewish women over 50, for example, it might be broadcasting. And that because they have the DNA of, of that kind of grouping, then they will all be getting it. Because you might be just feeling, God, you just wake up and you just feel so fearful or angry. Have you noticed people being really angry and cranky, road rage increasing? I'm not just talking about the government um, trauma-based mind control subjects that are out shooting people up in shopping centers and churches and stuff but just generally cranky and all that stuff. We have somebody that? that um's talking about voice to skull yes, technology. Yes, that's, that's part Where of they it. can target individuals in a crowd. Yes, individuals and or groups. Voice to skull. Is that what they call it? Voice to skull. Voice to skull. Yeah, because it actually uses the, the, the bone, vibrating of the bone to actually translate into words. People get words and thoughts in their head that they didn't put there and they didn't want there. And I'm call, generally calling this ET because the behind all that stuff is the ETs, ET generated AI program. But you're not going to find that in the book. It's just a word I finally made up to try to jump all that stuff in the category. Now, any questions about that? Except that I know it sounds weird, but you just so do we consider it. the ET generated AI program different than like a broadcast? Well. It, it, it could include a broadcast, but it include not a broadcast, too. So there's not an equal. So all, when we're kind of making our checklist, go ahead yeah. and have broadcast. And, yes. And yes, you the could. ET generated AI. OK. OK. That could be my phone, because I've got the same tingling. OK. Um, all right. Now, the best way that I've found, you y'all find your own way some of you work with some of the raymond gray thing or the walt wood things you can use a negative spin on your pendulum some of you can use prayers commands affirmations different things that some of you are part of some etheric brotherhoods of light use your own things if you want to or use some of mine but i don't care what you use as long as it works so you check to see if it works and then if you need, you get a dowsing buddy or something like that to help you with that, to double check. And if it's working, then use it. I'm not saying that my way is the only way to do it. It's not, it's just things that have happened that I've happened to work with over the years. But what I have found that is very helpful is working with command words. Now, some of y'all I've talked to about this before, but did the rest of y'all know what I'm saying when I say command words? Anybody not know? Monique, okay. Um, command words are words. This is something that I ran into a lot in Europe <clears throat> where some of the dowsers over there. I was over in England 20 oh, some years ago and studied with Dr. David Tansley. He was one of the radionics giants in the world in the last class he ever taught. But even in England, they will work with command words and they're words that, um, they're words that indicate uh, action like heal, release, support, block, energize, um, inspire, those kinds of things that indicate an action. And, and you can send with your focused intention. It's a, for me, it's a combination of two things. One, your ability to focus and stay focused. Don't be flipping, flopping around and thinking about everything else. You just get that mind and that on that one track and don't deviate while you're doing the thing. And the other thing seems, the other factor seems to be, <clears throat> for lack of a better word, what I call spiritual collateral. Somebody gave me that phrase. Isn't that interesting? It's like how much juju you got on the other side? How much juice can you pull down from the heavens or whatever? Because some people could say, oh, I command her, I make this happen, and it goes, Bloop. 
you know, just like a piece of toothpaste fell, fell off the toothbrush or something. But some people, they'll say, oh, I come in and boy, the heavens open up and all the angels show up and it happens, it comes to pass, right? Do you know what I'm talking about? Spiritual, it's like, it's based on how much work have you been doing? How much inner work have you done? How much, how much can you, it's low. Yeah, how much can you make it count? Like when I, when I did my three-year training in, in, in Peruvian shamanism, one of the things that they, <clears throat> the old shamans in Peru would say, <coughs> me, you can call yourself anything you want. You want to call yourself a shaman, you can. But can you make the lightning come? Can you make that corn grow? It doesn't matter what you call yourself. Have you got the juice to make the thing happen that you're trying to make happen or stop from happening? So my sense with working with these command words is your focused intent and your spiritual collateral. And you can increase that bank account big time by just doing your inner work, getting your stuff together, raising your vibrations, cleaning up your old junk, which is mostly what I'm helping people do is you got something they can't handle, you track it back, go back. And if it's a big deal, it's usually tied in in another lifetime somewhere. Clean that junk up, be done with it. Boom, your, your collateral, your interest rate goes up about 20% or so. Okay, so then we work, we're working with these command words. I think Carol's making another thing with command words. She's making some more copies. Okay, so you can look through this little thing on clearing negative vibrations and frequencies and see uh, if it all makes sense to you. They each have to be done differently. Okay, so Mary had two. And so I'm gonna clear the first one and I'm using a command word. There may be some other words, ways you know how to do this. I'm using a command word. So I will dial down, they're gonna give you a bigger list dows down this list of something that would be helpful to neutralize or eliminate or whatever that uh, vibration, that frequency number one. Let me see, is it on this list? This one, this one. While she's checking yes. that, if you're watching on Zoom, um, we're gonna hand you the, we're gonna email the handouts and we'll send it to them on the, the replay. Okay, so okay. here's the handout on that and you can see at the bottom that there's a list of command words <laughs> add to that list and make a much bigger more extensive list at some point but what i doused the, to get rid of the first one for mary was the word um eradicate so now i'm just gonna hold the intention while i'm talking y'all to uh using my pendulum to eradicate the negative or unbeneficial effects of, of the frequency from the, which was it, fourth or sixth dimension? Sixth, sixth, sixth dimension eight. that has been affecting Mary in a negative or unbeneficial way. You can see my pendulum is spinning. And so it's using the word, and in my mind, I'm just kind of go eradicate, eradicate. There, my body gave a breath and my pendulum stopped. Can you feel any difference? We haven't got rid of both of them. Yeah. She's feeling something in up near crown chakra. Okay, now let me find the second one. Is it on this list? This one, this one, this one, this one. No. So it's probably on that list over there that uh, Carol's handing out to y'all some more. Yeah, they're, they'll have some different things on both of them, just some ideas. But y'all add to your own command words, write their spaces in there to write that down. So y'all y'all add to your own. So I kind of have a list in my head since I do this all day long and I'll just go block, shield, release, neutralize, eliminate, eradicate, um, exterminate, annihilate, the big old word, annihilate. Okay, so here I am now. There's a part of me very focused and I'm asking to annihilate the negative and unbeneficial effects of this, was it eighth dimension? Eighth dimension frequency that has been negatively or unbeneficially affecting Mary at this time. So I'm annihilate is the word. And those bigger words are coming. She's getting, she's getting something she's annihilated too, isn't yeah. she? Are they going to affect you? There, my body took a breath. My pendulum stopped. And you're asking, has it been affecting Have they been affecting the bank account? Have they been affecting her bank account? A little bit, between 5 and 10%. <laughs> Maybe there is something affecting that. Okay, that's how you use command words. Isn't that easy? Why is there a specific word? Because it is going to match that frequency. 
of somehow it matches the frequency to to reverse or to block or shield or in this case annihilate or the other one was to eradicate for that thing you can play with it any way you want and but i love command words so i'll have a friend that'll call and say oh there's something something getting me or something's affecting me i don't know what it's from or where it's from and i can't go is it so i'll run down a list is it from a human being no yes or no is it on the planet is it off the planet is above the planet is it inside the planet if it's off planet is it is it uh u.s government or military or rogue military or rogue government it may not be officially you know cia or fbi or Congress or something, but it's rogue. There's all these rogue departments and everything. Y'all know that, I hope. I hope. Um, or is it working with ETs? Is it coming from a ship? Is it coming from a base? Is it from the moon? Is it from a satellite? So I can narrow it down. And then sometimes I still won't know what it is or what's doing, but she'll say, oh, I have this heavy feeling or I, I can't walk very well, or I feel like, you know, she'll give me some description. And I'll douse, can I use a command word to clear it? I'll just go down that list in my head, block, shield, neutralize, eliminate, eradicate, blah, 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 blah. I'll find the word and I'll just, what it, I'll just go, whatever it is that's affecting this person that they've identified, we may not even know who it is, where it's from or what it's about, it will clear. It'll clear using the command word. Now, it may not stay clear forever. They may come back up with the same thing or something else in a few days or a week or two but it'll at least give them some temporary relief. Okay, any, any questions about using command words? Please stick your little hand up. Yes, ma'am. Why would you want to clear beneficial? Unbeneficial. Okay. Unbeneficial, negative or unbeneficial? Yeah, I'm saying, I'm, maybe I didn't say it correctly. Neg, thanks. Negative or unbeneficial energies or frequencies that are affecting this person in a bad way, yeah. Any other questions about command words? Yes, ma'am. So why don't you ask that then? Because you talked about it from like a, in my mind, when you say that faith level, like you're that, speaking it from a higher dimension. Yeah. So it shouldn't be unbeneficial, right? It should be It's concept, uh, that's what it should be, but I'm telling you what, honey, I'm yeah. finding them. Okay, so that's why I think There is creepy crawly. That question for our viewers. The question was, why should you have to clear unbeneficial frequencies from a higher level like the, the eighth dimension? Range. And we, we, are, we were taught or told that everything higher up is good. And I'm gonna tell you what, they lied. <laughs> they damn sure, is that right, Barbara? That's true. They have lied to us about so much everything. stuff. It is not even funny, not even funny. A lot of the stuff that we learned in basic spiritual studies, metaphysics 101 has been a flat out lie. Wow. I promise you. So there's a lot of dark energies in higher dimensional levels. Yes, ma'am. So don't just discount that because it's coming from a higher level. It can be extremely dark and dangerous and everything else. Yes, don't automatically assume it's Don't assume it's positive. But that's a, thank you for bringing that up. Because a lot of stuff that we were taught was taught with the intention of keeping us in la-la land or keeping us stupid or not confronting the reality of what's going on or something like that, a lot of stuff. And so it's been a real revolutionary thing these last few years to have to, con I'll go, am I crazy? Why, this, is, this goes against everything I was taught, but it doesn't. I mean, just another thing that I found doesn't have anything to do with this, but a lot of times I'm tracking something back to another lifetime and I'll go back, you know, 100, 200, 500, 1,000, 2,000. At three and 4,000 years ago, I'm finding stuff from Atlantis. I thought Atlantis was 20,000 years ago, okay. but I'm finding it two, three, and 4,000 years ago. But I know that they have screwed up our calendar. They have lied about the time frames about a lot of stuff. And that's what I'm finding. I mean, I could probably tell you 50 cases of things that I found two or 3,000 years ago that was Atlantis. What, what is, have you exactly. found any of that? Yeah, I've had that, I've found that with clients. Yes, yes, she said she's found it with clients. I mean, so a lot, so you're gonna have to get, feel comfortable enough with your dowsing, competent enough with your dowsing. Please practice it a lot if you're not already doing it. Get with somebody else that's working in that field or you trust has a good track record with your dowsing and start asking questions back and forth, just like I'm doing. I mean, I haven't talked, 
excuse me, with Barbara in a while, but she's saying, yeah, I'm getting two or 300 entities on people because otherwise I'd think I'm crazy. You know, I've been doing this for 40 years. How can I count or what's the matter? I mean, is this a serial killer that or something? No, it's a perfectly nice person with 40 entities on it. We're getting several people that are talking about everything that they were taught was a lie and that they've rewritten all of history. Yes. So, yeah. Well, Penny Kelly, my friend Penny Kelly talks about they've lied about so much, so much. It's unbelievable. So you get clean with your dowsing. You get in good connection with, with source, however, creator, God, whatever you want to call it, big cheese. And you get, you get where you can douse some high degree of accuracy things. Double check it. Get yourself a couple of dowsing buddies so y'all can double check stuff over and over. And you're not just reinforcing your shared fantasies or crazy beliefs or something. But you start checking that stuff out and you'll get far along. Right. Um, so any, any other questions about command words? I really want to turn you on to that and have you start using those because you can use them all day long for things. Yes, ma'am. Can you just Yeah. Yeah. I released them. No, no. I released them. I released them with love to their highest and best spiritual good. Go in peace, go in love, take all of your number with you and release them. And I've got a program in, it's like a software program installed. If y'all haven't worked with Walt Wood's program called Letter to Robin, it's free on the internet. You download that and you install that program. You just do it because it's good. There were many, many, many of us dowsers that cooperated with him in designing that thing. And he was a past president of American Society of Dowsers. He's, a, he, he's passed on, but he was extremely high integrity, very competent, very skilled. He was, he was truly a master dowser. People throw that word around now like jelly beans or something. I don't let people call me that. Huh? He's here? Yeah, I don't let people call me that. I'm not a master dowser. I have a certain level of skill in certain areas, but I'm not a master dowser. But, but Walt Woods was. And that is an excellent program. And you're installing in your, in your with a, what he calls a dowsing system. Like when I say this, this means this. When I ask for guides, then all your guides that are positive or beneficial in your highest best good. So that whole software program is installed in me. That's why I can sit here and talk and still do things. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so that's one of the things when I'm releasing entities, I'll say to myself, and a lot of times out loud, I, if there's entities with Mary, there's no more. Um, I release you with love to your highest and best spiritual good. Go in peace and go in love. Take all of your number with you. That's what I say. Now, if I'm dealing with, um, um, if I'm dealing, I told you, I'll tell you all this. If I'm dealing with demons, which I used to have to, because I used to do hypnosis a lot, I would have to take that person down, bring in tons of protection, because I can tell you stories that make curl your toenails, I'm telling you, of you, creepy stuff that happened with that. Now it doesn't have to be that involved and that hard to do. But I release them. Okay, I have to tell you a little backstory. Um, I was with a friend of mine that I used to travel with a lot and, and he hadn't really been down to Mexico very much and checked out some of the pyramids. And so we were going to go down. I was going to show him Chichen Itza in the Yucatan. And we went down there a day or two before and we spent the night, I think in Merida, which is a little colonial town. And that evening we were, we went to a restaurant, we were walking around and there was a big, beautiful cathedral that had all these gargoyle things in the front. You know what I'm talking about? Those gargoyle. And I know some systems say they're great, but I don't like them. They're creepy if you ask me. And I already I always said, I think they, the demons hide behind those gargoyle things. Anyway, <laughs> went back to the hotel, which was a uh, renovated nunnery with these little bitty tiny rooms because the little nuns used to stay there. And he had his room and he had, I had my room. And um, I, I had bad, bad dreams that night, really nightmare nightmare like disemboweled animals and creepy stuff and i kept saying i don't like my boyfriend i don't like mexico i don't and i know that's not true i love mexico and i woke up the next morning and i said oh my god you got it there's some creepy stuff that's got hold of me you got to help me get rid of it so he kind of went down into hypnosis and cleared some stuff out and um and uh what he found was that there was a demon that was attached to me and we had picked it up 
by going by that church off that gargoyle thing. And this demon was after me. It was like, oh, Lordy. But anyway, it was, he said, you better bring in some big guns because there's something here really bad. So that, so we went to Cheats and it's on, did our thing, came back, spent the night there. And I had, the next day, something happened. I, to this day, don't understand, but they had little pitchers of water in those little hotel rooms, if you've ever been to Mexico, and like a glass pitcher, it was sitting on a little marble thing. Well, that thing broke somehow and cut my hand. I've still got scars right here on my fingers with this thing, cut my hand. I thought, good Lord, I went pounding on my friend's story. Something's getting me, you better help me figure it out. So we got rid of, he was another demon. It was the partner or the mate of the one we got rid of the night before. Okay, so coming, he couldn't, he couldn't get rid of it. And finally what he got was to make a net of fiber optics, like divine white light, like a fiber optic net. Isn't that interesting? Because these things will glom on, like they'll be hold of your back with their claws and stuff. People say, I've got a horrible neck ache. I can't get rid of it. There's a demon back there grabbing you with its claws. I don't mean to sound creepy, but this is reality, y'all. <laughs> this is reality as good as CNN. Um, anyway, and he, and he was able to get that net and put that around that thing and then have the angels pull it off. So that's what I say now when I've got a demon. I call for the Archangel Michael to come, bring the angels and bring the debt. And I ask that this, these demons be taken to their proper plane level or dimension for the next level of their evolutionary growth. I don't take them into the light. The demon said, we didn't come from the light. Don't take us into the light. It's like, okay. So I ask that they be taken to the proper plane level or dimension for the next level of their evolutionary growth. And I'm calling that net and the angels. That's what I do. And it works. So y'all figure out what you need to do for yourself and take one of mine if you want. And if it doesn't work, well, then do something else. Okay. Did we clear my demon? Did we, oh, did we get rid of our demons? Please. Okay, go, Michael. Come and bring the angels and bring the net and ask them to take those powers. Oh, I also sometimes will ask because it, because whether it's a thought form or real in the name and the power of the, of the Lord Jesus Christ, be taken to the proper plane level dimension, next level of evolution and growth of the Lord's of the Akasha for their judgment. Or to the Lord's of the Akasha for their judgment. Yeah. There. She yawned and I uh, at least at the same time. Okay, it's done. Does that feel different? Still have a headache. Sometimes it takes a minute or so for it to go, literally. And then you always want to, when you release this stuff, you always want to bring in light. You want to bring in white light or golden white light or the highest of divine light or whatever. And fill the, the universe abhors a, an empty space. So you want to be sure and bring in light. Okay. Now questions so that's what i'm giving you i'm just telling you there's a huge increase in darkness look for these kinds of things and there's probably a whole lot more that you might figure out but you get this cleaned off of yourself and people every day or every few days and you're going to feel a lot better and you know you just need to do it because everybody's getting they don't even know what's going on with them they're being just angry and road rage and crazy just crazy just crazy acting stupid and saying stupid things and just flipping out and that's all part of this darkness that's just got us down in the sledge in the swamp water so these are just some things that are be helpful yes ma'am um what are, are you doing in uh shipping the timeline that's good that's a good point yes that can be done too yes yes and Mary's been working with timeline shifting and stuff. So, so um, what Any I don't know questions? if you guys online heard, um, she asked, what about shifting of timelines? Okay. So Sandy was just saying, yes. Yes, yes, there's several of them. And there is a timeline that's leading toward the AI matrix and the metaverse. Stay off of that thing as if your life depended on it because it does. <laughs> we could say thank for you. Eons, thank eons. you for showing me what I don't want. Yeah, thank you for showing me what I, thank you for helping me stay in my heart and keep in love and stay in that frequency of the higher vibrations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can yeah. you talk about the psychic debris? Psychic debris is just odds and ends of junk. It's like, as if there was an explosion, there's a little piece of paper and rocks and shrapnel and stuff. Like I said, if somebody had a bad argument or something, that would be there. Or there'd been a, an incident or something 
and you just gather it up and bless it and send it on back to the universe. Did you check for the ET generated AI ET, program? Any ET generated AI programs affecting Mary at this time? Nope. Either that or they ran away because they heard us talking okay. about. All right, so we have a question. question. Um, can Sandy tell us more about her work, especially her DVD, The Caterpillar Emerges? Oh, yes. I don't even know if I have a body. I was spoke up in uh, Toronto, uh, I don't know, two, three years ago, and spent a whole day going over a lot of different kind of healing um, modalities, uh, working with different kinds of things. And they videotaped it all, and it's somewhat professionally done, but not profoundly professionally done. So it has like four or five or six DVDs of the whole day. And then the last DVD is full of handouts. And it's $125 and $97 if you get it. And I can send you one. So that's what's on that one, the caterpillar emerges. So it kind of came kind of like, that's what we are. We're kind of walking around. We don't know where and what, and eating leaves, and all of a sudden, boom, we're in it in another dimension or with a butterfly and with all this. You can stuff. email Sandy for that and we'll make sure that, well, her, her email is in your, the, whatever newsletter you got knowing about this. And for the person who was asking, can you re-listen to this? We're recording it. So we'll send out the recording. So if you signed up um, through the Lone Star Dowsers, um, you'll definitely get a copy of that. Great. Are there any other questions anyone has? Any ideas to why there's an increase in this weird activity? Yes, because the dark side pretty much has much of the authority over this planet as a whole, not to say all the people that are listening or gathered, but because humanity as a whole has chosen darkness rather than light. Mm -hmm. We have chosen not to, to be respectful of the earth, not to respect animals, not to respect each other, to go with the lower vibrations, to get caught up in a lot of the lies and sleazy and look at the politics, look at medicine, look at organized religion, look at education, look at doctors, look at all that stuff. It's all corrupted, rotten, period. And as a whole, humanity has chosen unwittingly, in many cases, you gotta say they've been mind controlled or brainwashed or whatever, but that's what's going on for the majority. And so we're, we're in the darkness before the dawn, hopefully, it's um, hopefully all this stuff is being exposed and the corruption and just the bowels of the yucky, yucky, yucky. And um, so we're, going, we're in that. And, and the United States is no saint. I mean, they program us to think that we're the best in the West and we're not, we're not. We have, we have created more terrorists and more atrocities and been more involved in child trafficking and satanic stuff and done more harm on this planet as much as any any other country has ever existed. I mean, they tell us in school, oh, we're the best, everybody wants to come here. But I've lived abroad in Europe for many, many years, and I'll tell you, everybody doesn't want to come to this country, and we're con not considered in the highest of regard in many places. So get over that one, too, if that's a fairy tale that you believed in. I don't know if that answers why there's so much darkness, but it's, it's the dark before the dawn, we hope. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're we're evolving, we're changing. Yeah, so they're digging in. <laughs> they're yeah, trying. They're digging in. They they in one level they know they're backed in the corner and they're scared and they're going to pull out all the stops to keep us caught in fear and negative energies and uh, all the rest of this kind of stuff that's going. On. Yeah. yeah. My, my understanding is that it comes to the Yeah. general and well really we are moving into this light and into this love so we can move the change yes. um, well they can live their lives in this love and, yes and so the dark is just that <laughs> right. and attacking yeah that's what she's saying that we're part of it is because the dark is attacking yeah. because we're moving into a dimension to live our life in the light they're going to be like yeah not supposed to be and yeah, if they, they if they haven't they know that they're coming to the end. if yeah. they haven't raised their vibrations or their frequencies high enough, they they won't be, <laughs> frequency won't be able to match the frequencies of the higher light. Yeah. So we're just here to try to shine the light, hold the light, remember what we came here for, yeah. <laughs> and um, and and inspire and awaken and whatever else shake awake or whatever everybody else that we can about this that's my understanding and that's um, 
Yes. Yeah. 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 If you're on Hello. Zoom, can you mute yourself, please. We're hearing your Stage background message. noise. Yep. Um, okay. okay, thank you. Any other questions you can see on there, Mary? Um, some people were just saying they're they're on Facebook and they'd like to um yeah, so you're on they, Facebook. They, yeah, so they, they want, and I said, if you put your email in the chat, we'll add you to the, the Dowsers list. Okay. Um, so I'm not on Facebook. I don't support CIA PSYOPs, so I don't do Facebook. I don't see any sense in telling them who my best friends are and where I'm going and what time they can do or any of that. It's a lot of information gathering. Yeah. But the Lone Star Dowsers are on Facebook, and we will have a link to the And we do support recording. Lone Star Dowsers. Yeah. Yes. They're going to be expanding and doing some amazing things. It's one of many the, tools, the use of the, use of the violet flame. That's the IM yeah. stuff of, of St. Germain, right? Okay, that's a useful tool. That's a very useful tool. That's what I said. Whatever you've got in your toolkit that you use to deal with these things, practice some of this and then be honest with yourself. Get somebody, two or three other people to douse. Is this going to be sufficient to get rid of entities if I send the violet flame? or if I use command words, or if I use that. So if it's something that you've worked with a lot, you've got good collateral in that branch of the bank, go for it. I've never been a vital flame person. I'm not opposed to it, but I'm just, it's just not been my trip this time. I've, I'm part of another group of something. And, um, but if it works, do it. That's what I said, use whatever you've got, but double check it Ready to make sure you really are getting it. To speak to a customer service agent and go over options. Press the number nine if you are. Now the AI people are talking back to us on this little computer. Using right. your option, press one for English. All right, I've needed that person. So. Okay. All right. Okay, who else has a question? We have a question. What is the phrasing to remove oneself um, off of the wrong timeline? please. Um, do we just douse as it listed through the commands? Talk to them a little bit about that, Mary. Who wants to talk, who wants to talk about the changing timeline things? Um, you you want to share? For what, for what I understand, it works. Uh, it's the speak, up, speak up, speak up a little bit. It's a lot of the same thing in Course in Miracles. About yeah. Forgiveness, Can you guys hear Linda? So, um, basically, when something shows up that triggers you that you don't want, like, I particularly don't like loud people on the freeway buzzing by me. And I'll go, oh, thank you for showing me what I don't want. Have to let it exist. If we don't, we're not going to obliterate it. Thank you for showing me what I don't want. That takes it back to the zero point. If you understand quantum mechanics, it gets yep. it back to zero, to a clear space. Which is the same thing Course in Miracles does when you forgive something. You let it be. Or the oh, hoponent. Yeah. Yes, or hoponent. And then you say, what I'm creating for myself, the timeline I'm going on, is the one where I have all green lights driving in front of my house into town, where I have, you know, you know little traffic. It's, and sometimes it can work just like that. I mean, instantly. It's, it's really powerful. Unless. There's some lesson for you to learn from some experience. In that case, it's not going to shift anything. Yeah. So then there's some work to do. Yeah. And I just got a, another hit driving from Texas. I mean, from Arizona to Texas. I was listening to one of my favorite, favorite people. If y'all haven't listened to him, listen to him by all means. His name is Dr. Gabor Mate, G-A-B-O-R-M-A-T-E. He's uh, from Vancouver. He was a... Um, Started out as an English teacher and that was too hard for him. So he went to medical school and became a physician. <laughs> but he's worked, he's retired now and he's written several books in the realm of hungry ghosts and lots of different things. He's just, fat. I turned you on to him, didn't I, Francesca? He's just wonderful. He looks like an overgrown elf. He's skinny and scrawny, got lots of wrinkles. And he's got big bushy eyebrows and intense little eyes. And it looks like a big old elf. He was born in... Um, in just the end of World War II in, I think it was Hungary. And um, he, his father was gone. I don't know if he was in a camp or in the military or something, but he was born Jewish. And his mother, when he was just a few months old, called the doctor and said, um, 
doctor, you've got to come and see my baby. He's, he won't stop crying. He's just crying and crying. And the doctor said, well, I will come and take a look at that. But I can tell you right now, all the Jewish babies are crying. So that's a confirmation about the energetics that all the people were in such fear because Hitler was already moving. It might've been Poland. It might, I think it was Hungary moving in there and, you know, setting up the camps and exterminating everything. But he, he was talking about, I mean, the sidetrack, but y'all go check him out on YouTube. He is absolutely a brilliant, inspiring speakers. He's worked for like five or six years in the worst corner of, 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 um, Vancouver, where all the drug addicts and the prostitutes and heroin addicts and junkies and all that stuff. You're familiar with him? Okay. Yes. Yes. And he has, he ties almost every disease into childhood trauma and, and uh, a lot of stuff. The only piece he's missing that I feel like I have is that beyond the childhood trauma is often a past life component if it's a major deal. But he was talking to somebody he was being interviewed about um, what Linda just said about being triggered. He said, think about it. That's the word trigger. You have your finger on something and you can pull the trigger. But where is all the munitions? Where's the explosive material that you have control? It's in you. You're the one that has all the stuff inside that could create destruction, depending on if you pull that trigger or not. So that was just an interesting little thought I had about being triggered because all, you're the ones that carrying all the, all the stuff inside. Yeah. Who else has a question or comment? Oh, just one other thing. Um, I know Monique does work that you said past lives, and then she says early childhood, but she goes into in vitro or context. Okay, yes. Yes. Monique does. Okay. In, okay, so what they're saying in is in utero. Monique does in utero pre birth um, work going in and clearing yes. things. Yes. Yes. And even preconception. Do you work with preconception? Yeah, because I check for that too before they even get conceived that they'll be having all kind of stuff going on. Exactly. Who else has? Any, is this stuff helpful for y'all? Does this make sense for you? I don't mean to sound like an old wet doormat or something. Huh? Yeah, but you need to do that and with people that you're working with because otherwise you just end up a big old mess. They just come around and feed on you like a bunch of vultures on a dead thing. So do you recommend like a kind of a, a I recommend energetic you. hygiene daily? Yeah, doing this yeah, daily? yeah. Um, Dows. Dows and then if you get, if you find yourself off, like I'll get off <laughs> if I answer the phone and it's one of those robo callers. Oh. Oh, we well, you understand your car is more than this many years old and blah, blah, blah. And then and I was like, <laughs> hang up the phone and go clear yourself, you know, because I just like, uh, you know, I attracted like a bunch of bees to, bees to flowers and stuff. So yeah, if you find yourself getting off, definitely stop what you're doing and clean yourself off. But otherwise, at least do it once a day, preferably when you wake up and when you go to sleep at night. I know people that they just pick up stuff in the dream state. Definitely pick, yep. can pick up dark forces. A lot of people do that in the dream state. So is there something we need to do before we go to bed so we're not picking up? Um, Make your prayers. Now I lay me down to sleep. <laughs> Whatever, you know, or put an energy field. One of the most powerful energy fields that you can do, and you can look it up on YouTube if you're not familiar with it, is working with the Merkaba. You might call it the Merkaba or the Merkaba. And they've got pictures there. And that's some of the work of uh, Jumbal El Melchizedek with the Flower of Life. But that's a very powerful meditation. It's got to do with two pyramids intersecting. One is spinning one way and one is spinning the other way. But if it spins enough, it looks almost like a spaceship out there. But it's putting up a huge energetic field around you that will help protect. Yeah. Very good. Who else has some questions? I've got another question for you. It's got a question. Okay, go I got plenty it. of questions. Um, so what about your space? So this is for us and I guess our loved ones, but what about what about your home? What you about can your put car? a Merkaba. What about your business? Yes, you can put a bubble of light or a Merkaba around that. Would you, we would we want to go through this whole list of um, not necessarily, yeah. but if you're clearing your house, and that was outside the scope of what we're doing, but you might also clear the house of entities. Um, you're not going to have psychic cords, but you could have psychic debris. You could have demons. You could have elementals and things in your house, in your car, in your office space. Those all, those all could need to be cleared. And, you know, when we do the advanced dowsing, I mean, the advanced protection, we, 
go through all the different kinds of scents, the essential oils like frankincense and the different kinds of things that you can burn. And we work with all that kind of stuff in that class, but that's a little out of time the scope of this. Any, yes, ma'am. So last question, since you do this work, because you do this work in that's up where I was in that one more, and I like to walk those things. They don't walk open, but it lets me walk throughout the day and what is that now? But also, the more open and the more I allow myself to feel others, I feel that I am pulling more of their stuff in. Yes. You know, and it is that, it's that, and sometimes maybe I forget to do that again. I don't, yeah. I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to continue to feel the self without. Well, I wouldn't be, for me, I would, so her question was, as she's healing and helping others, she, her energy feels opening up, <clears throat> and she doesn't really want to take everything on. Is that, keep it in. Right. Yeah. I would probably, I, what I would do if I were in your position is I would, before you were leaving yourself open like that, I'd have some kind of a ritual or an agreement or a time frame or something like okay, when I'm done with this, I'm going to check for myself and I'm going to clear myself so that you, you couple the two of them together so that you don't forget one and then you just walk around with a bunch of creepy crawlies on you. you know. And there are certain things you can do. Like, let's say you work in a, let's say you work in a restaurant and you're picking up people or hospital. Oh my God, a nurse or something like that. Okay, yeah. Then you will be picking up stuff. When you get home, take a shower and... And, and visualize that cleansing. And, and just another little hint, lavender is really good for getting rid of other people's psychic debris stuff. Lavender, oh. the essence of lavender. If you do a lavender bubble bath or wear lavender. And another thing I learned this many, many years ago, and it works, is if you'll get some oil of vanilla, or if you don't have any, but you need, just go get that out of the kitchen cupboard, just regular old brown vanilla, and put that on your, on your pulse points, you know, like here in your hands and stuff. And and entities hate vanilla. I don't know why they hate vanilla, but they help they hate vanilla. Really? Now you're gonna walk around smelling like a chocolate chip cookie, but that's okay. <laughs> you know, but for some reason entities hate vanilla. So and there's different things that can be done with different like I'm I'm living up in reservation land. So we burn cedar or sage and but there's also you can getting into more than I thought I was going to do, but I can't help it. I just got to help y'all. There's another thing that you can do because these are all based on different frequencies. So burning sage will take, it sets up one frequency. Vanilla will set up another frequency. Something else sets up another frequency. So there isn't one be all thing that gets rid of everything when you're clearing house. But another thing that's good to do, you got to do it carefully, is you get some Epsom salts and some alcohol. And you get like an old pan that you don't care if it gets ruined or something like that. And you just make a little pile of Epsom salts and you pour some alcohol and you light it. And you be careful, you be careful, trust me, because that stuff is so hot. Did you do it? No, I've experienced it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, the flame is so, the flame is so hot, you can't even see it. You know, if you, if you have a kitchen stove with a, it's orange and yellow and then red, and then eventually it gets a little blue. This is a blue flame that goes into white. So it's so hot, you can hardly see it. But that stuff, you take that room to room and you do some cleansing and clearing, and that'll get rid of some stuff that doesn't go away for anything else. I'm telling you, that alcohol. But don't, I, I did it one time at somebody's house and I set it down the road and burned a hole in the carpet. So be careful. Don't set that pan down and don't burn yourself with it. But it's very powerful, alcohol and Epsom salts. If you go around the perimeter of the room, you don't want to stop hanging out in the corners. So and open all the cupboards, opens up the corners, and the, and open all the cupboards and open a couple of the windows and run them out. And you finish it with some room, take an old red board, turn it upside down, and set it in the living room. Okay. And do not put it down the drain, take it out. And oh, yeah. Awesome. You don't put that down the drain. And then another product that I carry and I use a lot because I'm trained in the Peruvian tradition is Palo Santo. Palo Santo is a wood that you burn it and it's like burning sage. You can get it at Mexicans. You can get it at Mexicans Mexican, and you can Mexican get it in that though. table right over there. Right there. Yeah. Oh. And Miss Sandy's brought some with her. Isn't that amazing? It came all the way from Peru. And some oil and some incense. But the thing about Palo Santo, 
not only is it good for clearing, it's good for blessings. Yeah. So what I do is I'll go clear the place and then I'll burn some Palo Santo and I'll go in each one of the rooms and, and make a blessing for the people and the family in the house that lives that it be a pillar of light for the neighborhood and the community. Yeah. Okay. Are there, it's, I keep saying one, one, one more question. question. Um, okay. uh, something talking about trans surfing um, sounds dangerous. Glad her intuition said, don't do it. This is what some people are calling dimension jumping. Oh yeah. That's all part of that AI thing to get you into the, into the metaverse. Just stay away from this. Don't be doing it. Danger. Do danger. Do Big it. danger sign flashing neon lights. Danger, danger. Well, we have a Kelly Grosso. few more minutes if nobody else has questions. Would you like to tell us about um, the classes that you're going to be offering? Yes, I'm going to be offering some classes this weekend and next weekend. What am I doing? Is that is that my thing, Carol? Yeah. Oh, she's got the other handouts. Okay, sure. This is another dowsing chart. If you don't have one of these, you get this out laminated if you need it or put it in one of those plastic sleeves and start using it yeah you've got the things on command words now add a bunch of those command words to there because some of i mean i've been using the word annihilate a lot Same and here. exterminate Same and here. eradicate i was like those are really strong words but they've been coming up a lot yeah to work with a lot i have every day yeah barbara's saying every day she's using those words i am as well Says they're trying to package the law of attraction to say you can create your own reality by moving into a different dimension Okay, so don't be Good. fooled by that. <laughs> well, it's 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 like a paradox. It's true at one level, but not true at another level. And we still we're still here. I mean, I don't know anybody that asked or projected here, <laughs> except a few entities. We'll le release them in a little bit. But um, you know, you still have to use a car to drive. You still have to do some things. So don't get so far into la la land that you don't have a basis in reality. People think I'm kind of negative because I'm doing a little prepping and some other kind of stuff. Oh, you're thinking negative, but my goodness sakes, there's a space in between. You're not just going to one day boom, wake up in Disneyland or something. You don't want to go to Disneyland. It's <laughs> full of pedophiles, and that's where they did all the mind control, trauma based mind control. And a lot of those kids that they used for everything was Disneyland. That's a horrible place. Um, so anyway, just keep one foot in one world, at least the three dimensional world a little bit. And like Linda says, you know, you could say, thanks for showing me what I don't want to do, don't want to have. She was talking about the traffic and I was thinking, the highway that I live on, we probably don't get 10 cars a day. There's no billboards on there and there's no traffic and there's no road rage and there's nothing. There's some jackrabbits and antelope crossover once in a while. Just think about changing the highway. I was like, I live on a good highway. <laughs> it's paved. So I don't have to use a four wheel drive to get in and out of my ranch. Um, these are so classes. just for if you joined us a little late on the, the call tonight, um, we will include the handouts in the replay. So okay. they'll, they'll be included. How's so, your headache? Are you feeling any better right now? I am feeling better. She's feeling better. Thank okay. <laughs> so we got rid of her stuff. So I'm going to, while she's doing, while she's reading this, I'm going to clear everybody in the room if that's okay if you want to keep your stuff then you just say don't you yeah. stay right here with me and it'll it'll work for us and it's going to work for us and, and well. also people who watch this in the future i'm going to get all my juju down here that's right get down with a pillar of light okay i'm going to clear everybody's lost confused or negative energies and you can talk about the class okay so i'm going to tell you guys about sandy's classes um well tomorrow if you're in the houston area um at the same um wonderful location, location um, in person, there's a chocolate and wine trunk show. Um, so you get to hang out with Sandy. She's going to demonstrate. She has all sorts of magical things in every room. Um, and she's going to tell you how her gadgets work. And anyway, things that will make your life easier. And you get to have wine, cheese, and chocolate. So that is tomorrow. There's not a charge for that. And it starts at 6. Yeah, if you've got some friends that are kind of playing around, putting their toe in this kind of weird world, just drag them in here. Cause I'll do a lot of healing on people free and just kind of, they'll can see that other people are, they look regular, like, like regular. Not people. only does she have dowsing tools, books, beautiful um, handmade shawls, um, supplements that you'd want, minerals, um, slim spurling stuff. I mean, it, the, the list. Stuff that on. you can't buy at Walmart. <laughs> Correct. Right. 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 Okay. Now this Saturday, April 23rd from nine to noon, um, she's having a class called how to be a superhero with your pendulum. 
So, wow, um, don't we live in challenging and exciting times? And we wish that we had a magical crystal ball or a wise little Yoda to help guide us, but actually you already do. You have something even better, it's your pendulum. So Sandy's gonna share how to make your pendulum a more intricate part of your daily life and give us a load of instances that we may not have considered for using our pendulum. So um, if you sign up today, it's $55 in advance. Um, if you're gonna come to the door, it's 65. On Saturday afternoon from two to six, um, she has a class called ETs, what's it all about? Cause she kind of alluded a little bit to that tonight, but um, obviously we're living in a challenging time that's full of upheaval, secrets, corruption, and massive change. So there are lots of theories, viewpoints, and perspective about what's really going on and what's behind it all. So many of our um, most core or sacred beliefs are being challenged and revisited. So everything from like science- Like you can trust the government? Government, doctors, our history, our news, the medicine. Jabs are um, good for you? <laughs> religion, all those things, and education <laughs> are really being brought up for reevaluation. So it's no surprise that this um, that part of this amazing cosmic coaster ride includes influences and participation of other galactic and cosmic beings. The good, the bad, and the weird. We'll cover it all. So ETs are the missing element behind it all. So that's also $55 in advance and $65 at the door. The Sunday class um, is an all-day class. It's from 9 to 5. It's healing and releasing psychic trauma. So you've all heard about PS, PTSD from big physical traumas like soldiers coming home from war, bad injury or an accident. But did you know that we carry PTSD from psychic traumas that can also seriously affect your health, your relationships and other aspects of your life? These traumas could have come from a childhood situation, maybe a pet died, maybe you're bullied at school or even in utero, um, but they still limit us as adults. So come and learn how to track down, identify, and most importantly, easily clear and release some of these psychic traumas. We all have them trapped and suppressed and they continue to wound us. So that is $97 in advance and 125 at the door. So that's on Sunday. <sighs> and there's more. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Wednesday, the 27th from seven to nine um, is hiring the heavens. So this is, are you ready to create your own reality? Are you overwhelmed by all the tasks in your life? Did you know there's an abundance, an overabundance of angels that are anxiously awaiting to be hired by you? Come and learn all about the spirit realms by using the universal yellow pages. Set up your own personal angelic staff or spiritual committee and find the host, the lost pets to selling real, real estate and finding a partner of like heart. You'll be delighted and inspired to have your own unique staff with the heavenly results. So that's $20 in advance and 25 at the door. And then on Saturday, the 30th, um, nine to five, that's an all day class. She's having NLP, um, an introduction to basic skills. Are you ready to communicate more effectively and truly understand family, clients, and actually anyone better than ever? The NLP, Neuro, Neuro Linguistic Programming, was developed in the 70s, and Sandy is trained and certified in all levels of this amazing technology. And you use it in your work all the all time. The time. Um, so she's going to teach you how to make changes actually very quickly. Um, and everybody has different, unique internal map of the world, reality, and how to move through it. So uh, that's $97 in advance and $125 at the door. And the next Sunday, May 1st, from 9 to 5, that's an all-day advanced play shop, putting oh. it all together. So that's um, for your students who've taken Sandy's prior classes. And this class is going to focus on using all the tools that you've learned, along with other tools that you may already have, and putting them all together about lasting change in your life. And if you're a practitioner, maybe in putting them lasting changes in other people's lives. So yeah. if you haven't taken any of Sandy's classes prior, um, this would not be for you. Yeah, no, you can come. You can come. You can come and get worked on. Okay. Ah. Yeah. 
Because then everybody is going to work on you. Everybody's going to work on you at once. <laughs> you will change or you will not get <laughs> change your house. And that's 97 in advance and 125 at the door. And you're taking private um, appointments yep. in between those days. Yep. Yep. Sessions run an hour to hour and a half. And it's I do a special deal for people in Houston for 125. And it's good. You'd cover a lot of work. And um, you don't even know need to know what you wanted. You just have to come and say whatever it is. Something's not working or I can't stand my mother-in-law or whatever it is, and we'll figure it out. So Michelle is in Australia and she is suggesting that maybe those classes could be recorded and sold online. They could be. If Michelle, if you'd like to take the technology, which I'm technologically genially deficient. <laughs> Does that sound like it? I mean, I can, talk, I can deal with these ETs all day long and spirits up one side, but I can barely operate my smartphone. I'm just not technologically astute. So I'm so sorry. If somebody wants to record it, something they can do that. If not, then it's just we'll talk. tough we, we can figure Catch out. a plane and you'll be here in time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's quite, that's what I love that we're doing with the Lone Star Delvers. At least we're recording things like this so we can, you know, try to capture that knowledge and share it with others so does did anybody else have any questions um, i guess not she says that that would be lovely thank you that would, thank you <laughs> thank you thank you for asking so so yeah and i guess um if anyone would, would like to donate i don't really have a basket to pass do we need to donate? Do we need, what do we, oh for the lone star dowsers yeah we, because they have to pay for their zoom meetings and it's about 50 dollars a time so if everybody gave a little bit of something, then they can pay for the Zoom meetings. That would be good. And Carol's got a little basket or a bowl or an empty tin can or somebody's shoe or purse or something over there because they have to pay for their Zoom meetings. Yeah, yeah. that would be great. So thank you all very much. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate it. Thank it's always you, fun Sandy. working with y'all. And, and if you let Lone Star Dowsers know what you want to learn or what you want to do i mean i'll help you if i can or i'll get you some get turn them on to some other speakers because i know a lot of different dowsers and a lot of different dowsing speakers that are really good some people are really good dowsers and they're not worth squat for speaking really they're terrible like mumble and fumble and do you have a question all that kind of stuff yeah carol's carol's got it they're on sandy's um website right i don't know her website um carol make a copy please carol's my the carol y'all if y'all don't know carol you should know carol carol money she's my local promoter producer mother everything she used to do the indigo sun y'all remember the indigo oh, sun yeah. yeah that's carol yeah, money carol. Wow. <laughs> and i've known carol for many 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 years she's real smart she's a cpa and she came to me originally because she couldn't get pregnant and so did two other women one of them was lesbian and they couldn't get pregnant and so we worked on them with some hypnosis and they all got pregnant and they all had baby boys within a week of my birthday isn't that cool wow. <laughs> yes it was magic magic and now this kid has grown up and he wants to be called ulysses how old is he now he is 25 25 oh my god wow. he is the most gorgeous kid he's been doing professional modeling and he's just wonderful so he's been to some of our classes and he's real cool and turned on so. yeah so that's carol money she has all the answers yeah okay yeah. So um, thank y'all for tuning in. And Sandy does phone consultations for our Australian and long distance friends. So yeah. she does yeah. that. And the um, Dowsers sent out the class list and um, I think we'll probably include it on the replay, but Carol also sent out an email with the class list. Or we'll make so. a copy of this and if you want. Yeah. Okay. So, so thank y'all for coming. All right. Thank and, you. I'm going to um, stop the recording. I appreciate recording. Thanks everybody for showing up. Hope it's helpful. We're getting lots of love online. So, all Good. right. Thanks, thank everybody. You.